Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the two against the Overlords cooperative campaign with Tapcat. I am excited to continue with another guerrilla mission. I thought long and hard about it. Do I want more or do we want more uh, advents with explosives or do we dislike bleeding rent as a dark event? Both suck in their own rights, uh, but I think uh, the 103 Intel will be worth the effort. Plus, Bleeding Rents has only been com uh, coming up once, and the uh, name of the game is every single uh, yeah, dark event can come up twice, uh, and you do have two chances to actually counter it. So if we skip it this time, we'll get another turn a little bit later. Also, Sabotage Transmitter is a more difficult mission type, and I wanted to have a bit of a challenge mission here. So we're going to go in with Shadow, who's leading the operation here. Uh, typically, uh, the character that Tapcat is actually playing, but I figured we might want to give it a go. And... We give go with the superior stock. That's not the worst of choices. In that case, he would always kill, even on a miss, unless there are really a lot of hit points left on the target. But no, that's good. So we got uh, Shadow here. We got Grease, uh, who is going to be our tech specialist. XQ6 uh, as the Marine. We got Implacable, the freshly rescued medic, who is going to be exactly that, combat medic. And we got a shotgun wielding, uh, a shotgun wielding sapper with dual grenades. So this is going to be fun. Mostly cover removal. Frontline will be shadow, um, but also um, XQ6 um, and Grease and Implacable, kind of midfield um, in their approach. So a well-rounded team, good enough to get it going. I, what I like about this campaign in particular is we're uh, switching out a lot of uh, the characters. Um, for once, I've uh, taken, um, as again, a combination of lower ranking soldiers and a couple of top ranking soldiers to get to that captain rank faster. Tied directly into their primary network. Our intel suggests destroying it while it's still connected. Will Good. Well, we do have full vision on this one, side trip apparently. So what are we dealing with? Uh, this here looks like a psionic operative. Nasty, but definitely doable. We got a triplet pack. Viper, Purifier, Normal... Um, Advent Operative and the absence of a third pack tells me that we are going to fight against the Chosen here, which will be yet again the Warlock. Um, so I get the honor of uh, dealing with him. Now, given that we already know where everybody is, we might as well go in highly aggressive. Might go in highly aggressive. I like this here. There's the objective. Good. Some high ground isn't bad, but I think I want to push through here. So we're making our way as close as possible through here. Let's do this. And knowing farewell that we do not have anything to fear from the right hand side. Double time. Might as well double time through it. Not very surprising, the enemy decides to join us. Well, hello there. Oh, 
Okay, so what are we going to do? I have a couple of ideas here, my dear friends. Eight points of damage, that would be a solid kill for the entire pack. We're going to save that for the next pack. Instead, what I would want to do is that Advent Warlock needs to die. So we'll put the solid overwatch here. He's too far away. Ah, he's sort of in range, but not close enough. I think we're just going to move a bit closer over here. Always move if you do have the possibility, unless you need weapon proximity. Um, that plus two overwatches should actually do the trick. So yeah, we're going double overwatch and a grenade as a startup. They'll shred bro uh, both, and if the uh, the overwatch shots are at least sort of hitting, we should be good to go. Yep, that's one down. Good. I would call that an appropriate measure of uh, violence against them, as we have taken just the right steps to keep them busy. And it's as if I would have guessed it, right? The Warlock. Shocker, I know. Hates Reapers, easy to target from high ground, regenerates, we already know that. Oh yeah. You may try that. Chosen aren't going to make this easy for us. Keep your heads down and press forward. We need to get to their location to Okay, we're out. we're going to make that part a bit easier. I'll leave this As in Claymore. Into utter destruction. Yep. And uh, that gave us not only one turn on the network separation. It also worked incredibly well because we don't need to deal with a pack. On top of which, I would like to get all of these things down. Stepping off. Double move. I'm not even sure, did we forget any of the transmitters? The answer is no. Soon his zombies will come, so might as well overwatch uh, for that. Okay, or he decides to just jump in by himself. Just as in victory, my faith in the elders is unwavering. Problem with them is uh, if uh, them being the chosen, uh, they immediately get to act. So this here sucks a little bit. Specifically since he's able to go directly into Spectral Army. Let's move. 
Okay, we're going to just carefully advance. Get everybody into position. Get the loot, of course. Larium core is helpful. Moving up with the Reaper on the other side. All right, I'll go. Going for high ground. There you go. Continue defiance of the elders. We'll only strengthen my resolve. Not sure where his oh, big there. Uh, that is far away. I hope it's worth it. His stun lancer cannot uh, use a his summon stun lancer cannot use the ranged attack, so we're good to go. We can just overwatch here and wait for it to move in. Three points, I think, a couple of ideas here. Okay, I'll go. This one here plus combat protocol should do the trick. That also forces him out of his stasis. Should shred him nicely. We always want to play action efficient, so reload first. Don't waste that one action. And shred him nicely. Continuing, ah, we, we're not shredding him yet, I see. Okay, well, I think we do not have any... No, nah, no more... No more shredding, so we just gotta live with his uh, one arm more. closer to him and that should be a nice little extra hit 10 points of damage just what the doctor ordered Mind control resisted. Fabulous. Oh, come on. Don't be so full of yourself. Picking up the stock. Uh, I think I do have an idea. I give you strength. Just don't want to make that a one on one. You don't want to be left alone with a chosen. Instead, we're just moving fully away. Overwatch, Overwatch. And Overwatch. If he teleports in and then moves or does something else, um, we might be able to get him. As you order, Commander. 
Your stupid overwatch will not help you. It's down to six hit points. Unfortunately, we have no line of sight against him. Trying to switch positions a bit. He doesn't want to fight on our terms, so yeah, I gotta switch it up. More spectral army. Where exactly did he summon them to? Okay, well. I think that's a relatively easy call. If this guy moves around from here, we're just planting the mine for good measure. And we're moving all over here. I just found out I had a second frag grenade, so we're going to use that next turn. Overwatch, Overwatch, Reload Overwatch. Good. That takes away the turn from the Warlock. Unfortunately, he has regenerated in the meantime. All good. Not the end of the world. Let's just shred him. There we go. He has already been injured, which means it's Reaper time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, we got ourselves five ability points and a good fight against the Warlock. And as always, timer stops as long as you're uh, with a Chosen. So the network separation timer even was very favorable for us. Get those charges deployed. We've proven the Chosen can be hurt. Now we just have to work on putting them down for good. I'm on it. Overwatch. Good. Enemies are no longer here. Might as well plant the C4 and call it a good day. Signal Quick and easy peasy. That was a fun mission. I wonder if we get some promotions out of it. Potentially not. Yeah, the Warlock is in an interesting fellow because we don't have the right tools to counter him yet. But with um, higher weapons, his regeneration will account for less and less. And that, that'll eventually iron itself out. Okay, stock and Dinalarium core, not bad, not great either. And we got ourselves a big fat Intel paycheck. I reassigned our engineer to the laboratory. My thinking there is we overall get more momentum from getting the lab back and then starting full fledged on plated armor. Good, engineer. Uh, what I will do is I'll shortly scan a bit uh, for the soldier. And then we're going for the engineer. Consider the countless lives that could have been spared had you remained in your place. Fabulous. Dodge increased by seven and higher combat intelligence. 
So over here, Psionic's attacks uh, will cause damage to the caster. That might actually not be bad in this campaign, all things considered, because we are fighting against a, a lot of Psionic enemies. A lot of them. But Reduce Avatar Progress is also really, really, really good. Hmm. I have to wonder. There is another plus one health uh, here. I think we're going to go for the reduction of the avatar progress. Um, that early in the game, it seldomly pops up and it will give us a bit more time. And Marina already has the dodge bonus, so giving her more health uh, will even strengthen her, her tanking abilities. So might as well go ahead with it. We'll get the job done. Don't worry, Commander. And that extra engineer could be used here in order to speed up the missions. Oh, just a squaddy? That is disappointing. Inside knowledge isn't bad. I like that. Pursue of knowledge is laboratory, right? Oh, that would be fabulous together with our existing lab. That would be a cool continent bonus. Um, yeah, let's go for the engineer. Like I said, it's a bit disappointing to just get a squaddy here. Uh, I would have wanted a bit more. But okay, you can't always have it your way. Uh, an extra soldier is an extra soldier, so I can... So let's go for the engineer. And uh, hopefully that'll help us. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. And before every, anything happens, I will be needing to talk, uh, call a tapcat here because Operation Lost Gods is on its way. Ooh, this is going to be tough. That's a doozy. Uh, we got a few people available. A few tired, a few on covert ops, which I sent them on. So that was greedy, but there are more corporals to choose from, so he will have the little uh, the pick of the litter here. That's okay. Mind you, with two scientists, we're already down to 16 days. And I can promise you, once the lab is ready and we can staff actually two scientists into the lab, uh, that would have that would give us an equivalent of four scientists so we should be able to really quickly research all of uh, the stuff uh, this year should go down to like 20 odd days so all of a sudden uh, we find ourselves with really solid weapons and plated armor uh, granted that we do have enough Eloise and delirium to actually upgrade them that's a different story but I think uh, that could be a good start. Let me do the following before I hand it over to Tapcat because month is almost over and I want to make sure that we're not missing out on this. We got Intel and with Intel we're purchasing that, Alarium and that, Alloys. You might think, oh my gosh Saiken, why do you spend 100 Intel um, in, uh, into um, both of these options? Chill. Uh, I know what I'm doing. We want uh, the armor upgrades and we need those those um, things in particular. Um, I'm somewhat tempted to go for advanced conditioning, but I also want to leave enough 
uh, intel on the table to make contact with that region. Couple of interested sector corpses is good. They are interested in Advent Trooper corpses, which is fabulous, but we need 10. 12, I think, even. For. for our armor upgrade, so let's not go too heavy on those. I think we can all agree that 31 uh, supplies is better than superior focus. And <clears throat> we got a lot of supplies here, a lot of them. Well, that's pretty good. Which means we're now flying to the retaliation side. And that is where I'm going to hand it over. Good news is at least the retaliation will happen without the warlock because I've just battled him. Uh, and he needs to recover for two more missions. Bad news is it's a retaliation, so that's really not so good. Uh, one thing, uh, more one change that the proficiency pack, uh, pack of classes has done is actually the class upgrades. And I want to highlight that because I think it is fa fabulously done, much better than in the core game. The problem that I do have with the core game upgrades is they further propel the issue of kind of early game super hard, late game uh, super easy uh, reverse difficulty uh, curve. Um, by making the classes simply normally stronger. What the proficiency pack has done instead is the passive abilities that scale with all of the classes will uh, be upgraded to the highest uh, rank of your uh, soldiers. So say if uh, in this case a zapper has reached uh, mm, the uh, lieutenant rank or the uh, sergeant rank, uh, you can upgrade it uh, mm, uh, so that every zapper in the team will have the passive ability as if they would be um, the um, sergeant rank. And what that does is, when you're starting with a character at SWATI level or uh, at corporal level, it makes it uh, feel like they are stronger because their passive ability carries them uh, carries a bit more weight. And I actually think that that is smart because it doesn't increase uh, the top line, but it very much increases the bottom line in case you are uh, losing soldiers and so on and so forth. So that's actually not bad. I'll just purchase both of them immediately. I made some money, I spent some money, um, and I think out of all of the classes, I would like to uh, create another field medic because you can always use healers, at least in my book. And that's pretty much it. Uh, we can't build anything. This year is done soon, so uh, Tepcat will very likely build a, another um, Elarium core uh, power engine here. And then hopefully we go for infirmary because that's really difficult at the moment. We're having long, long times of uh, waiting. But yeah, we'll get uh, through it. It actually looks not too bad. Um, once plated armor is in, we're good to go. And that ends uh, today's episode here. Thanks for watching. If you want to put in some research time um, and modify the like button, then be my guest. Elsewise, see you in two days. Take care. Bye-bye.